mid stenum is central in position with uh, normal cardiac silhuti almost. Uh, both the lung field appear normal, costophrenic and cardiophrenic angle are also appear normal. But uh, there is a homogeneous opacity here involving the left hilar region. And there is no obvious bony lesion. Another x-ray of that patient about 10 days later, the, uh, the left hemithorax is almost white out, that is the homogeneous opacity involving the whole left lung. Mediastinum is quietly deviated on the left side and the right lung field is increased in volume and this is the uh, fundic gas shadow. These two x-ray if we place side by side, this is the first x-ray and this is the second x-ray. The first x-ray here is a single lesion and there is no other lesion actually and 10 days later this x-ray reveals that the homogeneous opacity involving the whole left, uh, left lung field and uh, obviously there is no lesion we found here. Actually uh, this is a, a very 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 important finding. Uh, this may be a, a lesion malignant or consolidation or anything others that might obstruct uh, the left uh, bronchus, principal bronchus or other. We know uh, lung collapse is two type in main headings, compression collapse and absorption collapse. In case of absorption collapse, something like mediastinal mass, hilar lymphadenopathy, endobronchial anything like foreign body, mucus plug or intramural that means uh, the anything arising from the bronchial wall may obstruct the lumen and when the bronchial lumen being obstructed the air cannot flow into the distal alveoli and the distal alveoli by the way get collapse. This is called absorption collapse. Uh, the another type of collapse is compression collapse which is uh, caused by either uh, pneumothorax or pleural effusion. Now as this lesion, previous lesion was there and after 10 days we found this. So we can summarize that this lesion might cause a, a compression of the bronchus leading to absorption collapse and this is a, this may be uh, a complete case of left lung collapse but look at here in case of complete uh, lung collapse the trachea should be deviated uh, in mark way to the side but here trachea is deviated but not so much that means trachea is deviated by the collapse which is compensated by something like uh, plural effusion. Actually uh, I want to say that this uh, collapse, left sided lung collapse is compensated by plural effusion on that side and for this balance between collapse and plural effusion the medicinal shifting or tracheal shifting is not so marked. And uh, uh, very interesting to know that uh, this collapse and plural effusion uh, is caused by the same thing that is uh, located here. We see here. This is the lesion, malignant lesion, which cause the uh, absorption collapse and uh, plural effusion on the same side. And for this, why? 
this mediastinal shifting is not so marked. And uh, the uh, fundic gas shadow is here. That means the diaphragm is here. If it was only the uh, case of whole lung collapse, uh, then uh, the left-sided lung uh, might be uh, elevated from here to here. But the uh, left-sided diaphragm is located uh, almost its normal position. So uh, we uh, can conclude that uh, there is a fluoral effusion something there. So uh, today from this uh, two x-ray, uh, we can conclude that this is the x-ray chest uh, showing left-sided complete opacity that might be caused by collapse and plural effusion, both of which might be caused by a single lesion like malignancy. So thank you. Thank you very much.